Hi friends, happy Saturday. I apologize for the lighting, but it is almost 7 a.m. and it is just now getting light enough outside to fill my intro for my grocery haul. So I'm currently sitting outside of the grocery store. I'm going to head in, grab my groceries. I'm going to go home, film my video, share both my meal plan and what I am doing for meal prep with you guys. I have some great fantastic, delicious recipes coming your way. I think after this, I may stop at Trader Joe's because I have a fun, super fun Trader Joe's video idea, and I need to stop by there and see if they have everything that I need for this video idea, and it's going to be amazing if they do. So I can't wait to do that as well. I hope you guys are having a great Saturday. I'm going to head into the grocery store, and I'll be back to show you both my grocery haul, my meal plan, and my meal prep. So if you want to see what's in store for the week, stay tuned. So here is what I picked up from Fred Meyer, which is also a Kroger store for the week. What is not shown is some paper towels. Other than that, this is everything that I picked up for the week. So Let's get into this grocery haul. They had a fabulous deal on LaCroix sparkling water. I love LaCroix. It's just pricey. Generally, these eight packs are three to four dollars. And today they had them all for a dollar forty-nine for an eight pack, which is amazing. You had a five eight pack limit, so I bought five packs. So I picked up coconut, tangerine, pample mousse. I don't know what that is. If you know what that is, leave it down in the comments. It just sounded interesting. And then I picked up an eight pack of apricot and passion fruit. So I am stocked up on some LaCroix for a while, but you guys, that is such a great deal if you have a Fred Meyer or Kroger near you. Cheese tortellini, this is for an upcoming recipe. Great price on this as well. This is in the frozen section. Two packages of English muffins. These are for my husband. I'm making him sausage, egg, and cheese breakfast sandwiches to take for lunch this next week. Just something a little bit different. So I grabbed two packages of those, but these are actually WW friendly as well. Eggs, of course, my very favorite happy eggs. These were still on sale for $3.99 a dozen. In my opinion, the best eggs out there. Two packages of pecan pieces. This is for an upcoming recipe for a collab. I almost bought these in the bulk section, but these were on sale for two packages for $4, which is a pretty good deal, and they're already cut really, really small into small little pieces. So again, this is for an upcoming recipe. A pack of Simple Truth Organic Turkey Sausage. Pretty good points on this, and this is for a dinner recipe. I picked up from the deli, zero point turkey breast. This is just private selection oven roasted turkey breast. This is for my lunch meal prep. So I'll show you what I'm having for lunch. And I needed just some turkey, zero point turkey. And I like it best from the deli. So I grabbed that. I picked up a couple of these Siggy's vanilla yogurts. They were on clearance for 89 cents. They don't expire until November 15th. So there's still time to eat these. Thought these would be really good in a parfait with a smart cake. And these are great because there's no artificial anything in these. And they're actually really, really good. So love the Siggy's. Yeah, simple ingredients, not a lot of sugar. So grab two of those just because they were on that really good 89 cent deal. A big container of chicken broth for an upcoming dinner recipe. Of course, fat-free ready whip. There isn't a shopping trip that goes by without that included. I have this in parfaits and on my coffee. And then I picked up another container of the sugar-free peppermint mocha coffee creamer. Uh, you know, I stock up on this, throw these in my freezer, and then I have them for the entire year. I also had a coupon for this, so it was a double deal. So I picked that up. Whipped light topping. This is also for an upcoming recipe. I can't wait to share this week's meal prep with you guys. So excited. So that is for a recipe. Three cans of Hunt's tomatoes. I picked up two of the diced basil, garlic, and oregano, and one of the fire roasted diced with garlic. Chopped spinach frozen for a dinner recipe. This just makes it easy. It's already chopped up, frozen, good to go. Raspberries and blackberries were on sale for $1.25 a pack. I only picked up two packs because I just grabbed some at Costco earlier in the week. So I'll be doing raspberries and blueberries as my fruits for the week. So two more packages just to make sure I have enough for the entire week. And then lastly, I grabbed, these were on sale for $3.49. There's 12 of these. These were left over from Halloween. They're the organic chickpea puffs, the hip peas. And this is the vegan white cheddar. These are 
are really, really good. And I was wanting some sort of a chip with my lunch. And you'll know why when you see my meal prep. So I'm going to be doing a pack of these. They're pre-portioned, ready to go. So you cannot overeat them, which is always a bonus. So picked up those. So that is everything from my Fred Meyer Kroger haul. And now let's move into what I picked up from Trader Joe's. And here's what I picked up from Trader Joe's. So I mainly got my produce for the week, but there were just a couple of other things that I picked up that I was running low on. So let's get into what I grabbed grabbed at Trader Joe's. Butter lettuce, this is for my lunch meal prep. It, my recipe calls for shredded lettuce, but I love butter lettuce, so I'm gonna use this in place of that for my lunches. Jarlsberg reduced fat Swiss cheese. I am out after my breakfast sandwiches this last week, and I want this as well for my lunch meal prep. I love this cheese. It is a full size slice of cheese. Look how big these are. And it is only one smart point a slice, and it is delicious. So I grabbed that. Picked up another pack of the Trader Joe's Light Mexican Blend just to have on hand. This is one of the main cheeses that I use, and it's great and low points from Trader Joe's. I was excited to find this. So this is cut sweet potatoes. This is a huge container, $4.99. By the time I buy sweet potatoes, peel them, cut them, $4.99 is well worth it to me. And I need this for this upcoming collab video. So heads up, they have this and the large bags of the butternut squash now. So you can buy those to make Thanksgiving and just meal prepping in general a lot easier. So hallelujah, Trader Joe's saves the day in sweet potatoes. Another container of the Trader Joe's spinach and kale Greek yogurt dip. This is for an upcoming recipe. Of course, I grabbed two delicata squash because you know I'm obsessed with delicata squash. And while I was there, I picked up two more. A green pepper for a recipe. Three Roma tomatoes. This is for my lunch meal prep. Another big bag of limes. I went through the entire other bag. I've been loving lime in my water. It's kind of my new favorite thing, so grabbed another bag. Three avocados. This is a great deal at Trader Joe's. You get all three avocados for $3.99 or $2.99. I think it's $2.99. So I picked that up because I need avocado for lunches this week. I was so excited that the Brussels sprouts were back. So I picked up two bags of the Trader Joe's Brussels sprouts love these this is my favorite frozen vegetable 99 cents a bag you cannot beat it they're the small little heads so they are so good so two bags of those and lastly i just picked up another pound of my favorite 96 4 extra lean ground beef so that's everything from trader joe's let's get into meal plan and meal prep so let's get into my meal plan for the week and also what I am doing for meal prep. So of course I'm using my Carrie L meal planner. I get a lot of questions on this. This is the eight and a half by 11. They also have a smaller spiral bound version and they also have a digital version. So there are several options. Definitely check out their website. There is a link down in the description box as well as a discount code that I'll give you here at the end. I love my meal planner. I use it every week. It literally saves me in my WW journey. It is comprehensive. It's beautiful. It has everything you need to plan your meals. There is a tab for resources, which is where you can log your favorite blogs, recipe sites. You could even jot down your favorite recipes. There's an inventory tab where you can inventory your freezer, your pantry, and also your spices. So awesome. There's the meal plans tab. We'll come back to that one. There's the gatherings tab, and this is perfect timing for this time of year. It is where you can plan out all of your gatherings. So let's say you want to plan Thanksgiving. You'd put the event. You can plan appetizer, side dishes, main course, desserts, drinks, kids, and supplies. And then there is a detachable grocery list for you to take to the grocery store. Amazing. Perfect perfect for this time of year. And then there is also a notes tab and that is where you can just jot down some notes. So I generally will jot down recipes or just things that I want to have in my meal planner at all times. And then in the very back, there is a two sided pocket folder, which is just really nice to have very pretty great just to toss things in that you want to keep handy. So let's go ahead and go back to the yellow tab, which is the meal plans tab. And we're going to go ahead and move forward 
to the current month, which is November of 2019. I cannot believe this year is almost over. Do you have at a glance monthly planner? I use this every week because I can see what is on my plan for meal prep for the upcoming week. I can also see the next day. So I know what I have on hand if I need to stop at the store. And also if for some reason I need to pull out some meat so that I have it on hand for that night's dinner. So I love the at a glance. As I said, I use it every single week. And then also each week there is a weekly menu planner. Again, I use this every week as well. I plan my dinners. You could plan all of your meals if you want to, but since I meal prep breakfast and lunch, I generally just plan my dinner here. And then the detachable grocery list, I use that every single week to do my grocery shopping. So love this feature, love it. My uh, planner, I've had it almost a year. It lasts just a little bit over a year, so it's a great deal. So each week you can see that I will list the dates of the week that I'm planning. So this is the current week and this is 1110 through 1116. My week runs Saturday through Friday. So today is Saturday the 10th. It is the day I use my weekly. So we generally go out tomorrow. I will be making a sesame beef stir fry. This is a rollover from last week that I didn't make. And this is a low carb recipe. Can't wait. Monday, this sounds amazing. I'm going to be making creamy tortellini and sausage in my crock pot because I'm actually going to jazzercise this day. So I need to have something quick and easy for dinner. Tuesday, I have a class all day long, literally all day. So we're just going to be having leftovers. Wednesday, I'm going to be making Parmesan shrimp and veggies in my air fryer. Yum. Thursday is cheddar ranch chicken also in the air fryer. And then I leave Friday to go to Leavenworth for the weekend. It is my husband's birthday on November 17th, my birthday on November 18th, and we got married on his birthday. So it is also our wedding anniversary on November 17th. So busy weekend. Our tradition is to go to Leavenworth, Washington every year. So cannot wait. On the back of my weekly menu is where I plan what I'm doing for meal prep. So this week for meal prep, I'm making a sweet potato hash. This sounds so good, you guys, I can't wait. And I'm gonna pair that with some fruit. For lunch, I'm making California turkey wraps. That's why I needed the tomatoes, the turkey, the lettuce, the avocado, and I'm gonna pair that with those hip peas. So that should be so good. And then probably a fruit as well. And my friends, for dessert, I am making a no-bake cherry cheesecake. That is WW friendly, so can't wait for that. So all of this you will see on Monday in Meal Prep Monday. So that's it for the week. Again, this is my Carrie L Meal Planner. I love this. My 10% off discount code is here on the screen. You can use that for anything on the website, even the digital version. So head on over to Carrie L, check it out, use my code to save 10%. Thank you for joining me on another weekly WW Grocery Haul. I hope you enjoyed seeing everything I picked up from both Fred Meyer and Trader Joe's. I did grab a few other things from Trader Joe's, but I'm saving those for a very special video coming your way shortly. So thank you so much for watching. If you're new, I would love it if you would take a moment and subscribe. Hit that little bell so you're notified every time I upload a new video. Thumbs up this one. It means a lot to me and really helps my channel. And of course, comment down below and let me know what was your favorite thing I hauled this week. So leave that down in the comments below. Thank you guys again so much for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye.